Hello my friends, welcome back to the Legacy of the Void Void Edition. We are heading into Glacioso, the Legacy of the Century. The greatest unit that there will ever be. I'm really excited for this one because seriously, I need something to increase my durability and this is really my only shot at it. And if it's bad, if it's bad, I am in such deep trouble. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna try our best here. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna start mining. Uh, first things first. I'm going to grab a shield battery, and that is. Tr I'm gonna try to default to that every single mission from now on. I can't wait to forget about it by next mission. But you know, one out of one is pretty good. Hundred percent of the time, I have successfully started off with a shield battery. And what I'm hoping is that this means I don't die against that first really quick attack wave. Are we going to find success in that way? Oh, probably not. We're probably dead already, but we'll see. Now, there's a couple things that I want to do some scientific testing on in this mod. And the first one is... Actually, there's only one thing that I want to do scientific testing on. I just wanted to sound like I was putting more thought into this than I was. The actual answer is that I want to see if a shield battery and a sentry can heal the same target at a time. We're, uh, we're going to test that. Reason that I want to know is I don't think it works. If you have a medevac and a medic, for instance, does not work. Oh, we got to make sure we don't die here. Activate guardian shield to reduce that incoming damage. And I can't really tell during an actual fight. Keep reducing the damage. But we'll be able to check in a moment. So yeah, a Stepman and a Medivac won't do it. A Stepman and a Medic won't do it. Medic, Medivac won't do it. But will? I do think so. The, I ran the shield battery out of energy at the end. So that didn't count. But I think it worked. It just straight up felt like it was working. All right, I'm going to declare that a yes. And maybe when I have a little bit more battery energy, I'll do one more test for conclusive evidence. But overall, that felt very good. Now, one thing that's really cool about Legacy of the Void that I'm about to show you is that if you constantly build cro probes with a chrono wand that has exactly, I think it's like no upgrades to the chrono thing, and then you chrono surge right now, you basically end up at a fully saturated base. Assuming that I don't run out of money, which I might. No, we're going to be fine. 22, 23. No, I supply blocked myself. Ah, I thought I had enough money. <laughs> I did the math in my head and I was one off. <laughs> no. Oh, I wanted to look cool. I wanted people to say, wow, Grant's so neat. What about these amazing StarCraft facts that he knows? <laughs> but he's too incompetent and he can't build a pile on. No. Oh, it's always the simple things in life, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a second shield battery. I'm so upset. <laughs> How could I be so bad? Oh, hello. Uh, shields up. Target down this guy first. Pull him back. If we can take damage on multiple targets, that would not be good because that guy will die. Oh, gosh. They're killing. Need some more friends. If we had second shield battery, we would have been fine. We're okay now. Don't worry. I'm just going to queue up both of these so I don't forget as I'm, like, pushing. I'm going to unqueue it because I realized I need money. And Annihilators will be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get, like, maybe a pylon here and a pylon here. To make it a little bit harder for the enemies to get into my base. But still being able to move in and out freely. And then I'm going to save up a little bit of cash and try to Chrono Surge out a bunch of Annihilators. After I get these Annihilators, I think I want about 10 of them, and then I'm going to focus on mostly a gateway composition. Because the Annihilator is going to be, in this run, deceptively glass cannon. Like, completely and totally fragile. 100 shields, no barrier abilities. 1 HP for 250 100 is going to be one of the worst rates we can get next to the sentry. And that, it puts a lot of fear into my heart. Also, I'm going to run out of money. I'm, I'm not doing these chronos well. 
And now that one would have been done. So we're just going to keep building for a while. I think that I want to wait for one more enemy attack wave before I start pushing. And then we're going to have to just get a crazy move on. We're going to have to go like double turbo mode. Which is a mode that I just made up. That's how fast we have to go. No human has comprehended that before. But double turbo mode? I mean, that's like turning it up to Wumbo. It's like setting our speed to plaid. And we're going to need a couple more gateways as well. How many do you... You can afford five gates off one base, I believe, if you're going for Sentry Zealot, and four gates if it's Stalkers. I think that's the numbers. Because, uh... Sentry Zealot, obviously, just way cheaper. Oh! Hey, I'm supply blocked again. Oh, this is going so well. If only I had mechanics, these games would be easy. These runs would be simple. I'd be the king of the world. So I'm never chrono surging again. That is an important part of my strategy. <laughs> that's a good ability, isn't it? Oh, that's a good ability. Mmm. What a beautiful, beautiful thing the Shadow Cannon is. We need more of them, but not too many. Because as I said before, Glass Cannon, I don't want to die. Okay, they do have some units here. As always, try to get the Guardian Shield up, and we are good. We're going to wait for a couple more Annihilator shots before we head to this next group, because I believe that they have an Immortal. And by believe, I mean they did in the speed run, so it'd be weird if here on Brutal they didn't. I mean, it could be a Vanguard, you never know. Synergy could be here. This is an awkward composition in the way that you want to micro it. Now that I'm, like, sitting here, there's some weird stuff going on that I want to be able to kite with the Annihilators. However, I want to stand and fight with Zealots and Sentries. Are we going to lose the Sentry? It's not being attacked right now, actually. I think this Zealot is attacking here. The Zealot that was hitting the Sentry is dead. Regeneration is going to outheal the sentry, so I think he's fine. I misread that. <laughs> I I thought he was looking in a certain direction, and it turns out that I am full of hopium. Did I use that term right? I hope I did. Excellent. Solar right gathered. We're going to go this way. Grab this money. Be very careful. And now he has no vision, so we can snipe him. And we can take down the pylon. And we're going to take the safe route. We don't really need this route for many reasons, but what I want is to be able to attack the... or in intercept the attack wave as it comes. Oh, found the attack wave. I didn't expect it to happen so soon. Shadow can't hear. Oh gosh, there is an immortal that was not stunned. These zealots are going to get cleaved through, but I believe that they are necessary. Largely so that I can not take the anti-armor damage that the enemy is sporting. That's really the big problem is the immortals and stuff will cut through me like butter, but the zealots, they take a little a little bit more per dollar that I spend to be to be butterified. <laughs> We're going to head to the top area next. Fortunately, these phoenixes cannot lift and shoot at the same time. Which is weird, because the players can. The, like, ladder phoenixes are what the tall rim get, and then we get the super ones. It's very odd. We're going to go up here, and I'm about to regret all of my life decisions. I feel that guy storming. I wonder, I wonder if I can sit through a storm with sentries. If I have enough of them, can they just heal each other to the point where it's fine? That is an interesting idea. Oh, I'm really scared of this area. I don't know how many it takes to kill one of these guys. Oh, it's not too bad. 
Keep the Guardian Shell up, and let's just grab Pylon right there. Oh, hello. I forgot about these sentries. These will be a nice addition to my collection. We've discovered more sentries. I will activate them now. Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to try to do is cleave through this base and then loop around to the back and come and defend the attack wave. Oh. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. Okay. Our forces are in mortal danger. Get them away from the beam. We're fine, Artanis. You're so whiny. Another solarite sample obtained. I don't know if I can get through this base in time. Do you think I can get through the base before the attack? Oh, we gotta run back. This is very, very bad. Oh, gosh. Good luck. You just kite this way. Everything is on the way. We can hit the Colossus from behind. We're going to get some Zealots over here to just distract. We need to charge in. That is a good choke point. And we can finish this off without losing the Nexus. Thank you, Shield Batteries, for buying time. Even though I forgot to use you and you weren't able to heal the Nexus. But besides that, you did great. I think there's only one more attack wave. So my plan is I'm going to bust through the base, loop back, defend the attack wave, push forward, win the game. And I won't have to build any more defenses at home because I, I know this mission so well that there's only one attack wave, I think, maybe. I hope. I'm, there's a lot of blind hope today. I'm done with Annihilators. I need things that can reinforce more quickly, and that is going to be the Centurion and the Sentry. Let's grab these reinforcements at home. We have the Snake of Pain. And let's start the push. What I'm going to do is wait for the Colossus. There he is. And then we can go one, two, three. Create a defensive force field and try to use that to draw more people in. We've cleaved through this. And then... Oh... Pulled a couple things from that defense wave over there, which is actually pretty good because we didn't activate the air units. And the air units are the big troublemakers. Now, as I said, we pull back. Hey, the attack wave came to us. This is beautiful. If we don't get hit by this Psy Storm. Nice. Oh, that's so good. That's going to save us a ton of transit time. So that's actually something I should keep in mind for future runs. Is that I can totally do that. For the very final attack wave at 17-ish minutes. So we have to bust, th bust through this attack pretty quick. So that I can stop the warp prisms from deploying. I don't have any more shadow cannons. That's not good. Uh oh, there's High Templars over here as well. If they storm on my army, I'm going to save. Because things have started to look bad. Shadow. I was too slow. All right, I have to make a decision here. I'm going to not micro. I'm going to see if the sentries can do it. What? How did... How did it go to, like, a quarter HP? Okay, someone's got to explain that to me, because that doesn't make any sense. How did a century... Like, I understand the 50%, but going to a quarter HP, that is... That feels like something is working wrong. Like, we know for a fact everyone's got one HP. We see it happen every time that they get gently tapped by the enemy. But that feels so wrong. So bizarre. Uh oh. Um. Keep pushing through here. I'm running out of... 
power. We've got 30 seconds to win. There we go. This down. It, someone has to be familiar with the editor enough to tell me what's going on. Okay, we need to go this way and then target this down. Take it out. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I forgot the bonus. No, I got the bonus. Well, that was... <laughs> that was exceedingly close. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> no, no problem. I believe that you have until 2018 to win. If I remember correctly, it is 2018. <laughs> so I had both of my seconds remaining. <laughs> Not a problem. Shields only is so easy. I just, I, I don't struggle at all. <laughs> this is a really hard run. Like, everything is on the knife's edge about dying. <laughs> and when you have to actually act quickly, which is a lot of Legacy of the Void missions, it's really painful. Okay. So. Let us check out these things. We're going to get the double restoration ability. I don't think that I want this because it is giving you 100 total HP instead of 300 that it normally does. I think the stun is better. And we're going to stick with what we have. Actually, for the next mission, I think that the Immortal might be better. Immortals with sentries in the back will probably be really good for the Dark Templar mission in the big pushing segments, assuming we have those. I'm going to hope we don't. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I sure was horrified. <laughs> if anybody understands what's happening with that HP bar thing, I would love to know because it's very fascinating. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.